yeah guys still where you have listened for that one i think i was continuously talking i forgot that zoom is disconnected okay ah. okay so i was continuously explaining and i forgot that it got disconnected so if you remember where i was exactly left process id you're telling about the process id each uh, Process ID, right? Sign. Yeah. One second. What is happened with this one? And the previous recording is also recorded or not? Oh, it should be, man. just hold on for few seconds guys let me see it's recorded the previous session or not so uh, i was talking about uh, the process <laughs> right and the process id yeah. correct so a linux process is nothing but i explained like jdk i have given example right tomcat i have given example right and uh, same way i i was talking about one pankaj questions he asked me that also i have discussed yeah uh, that one like he he was asking that uh, how a port is listening and not right yes correct so how we are going to identify that one by grabbing that particular port number so same way in a process okay so every time if you are executing a application or every time if you are starting a service or a daemon so daemon is or a service is nothing but these are the background processes which is running behind that process and every process is represented by a unique id then only we can identify right correct so if i go here so sai i think uh, just day, day before yesterday session right i have shown you how to make your particular run level on or off for, for a uh, at at uh, particular run level right yeah. correct if you guys remember ankur ankur ch config space uh... chk chk config hyphen hyphen list right so this will be showing you the list of services or yeah. list of particular these are the services right these are the daemons okay these are the services which is responsible to run your linux operating system correct so these are on or off at a particular run level right and also i have explained how to make it on or off right correct sign yes yes okay so same way here uh, so, so these are the, how suppose this particular win bind is running right so if i want to see what all things or what all process id okay it's related to so you can see it's running with a pid of 4 triple c correct so this pid yeah. okay this pid is a unique id for this one so every time if this service is get stopped okay so again if i am starting this service okay suppose this service is let me see win bind right win bind is on it is off at every level right so just okay. grab some uh, suitable things which is on so um, nfs ntpd okay so ntpd is off anyways okay let's take anything which is on no no kdump kdump is where is the oh ah, yeah kdump so kdump you can see it's on at run level 4 so we required at run level 5 right okay so anyways it is on at run level 5 okay okay dump correct so it's running with a pid of this one okay let me see let me restart this one okay any dot d okay k dump restart it is failed to restart 
but again we'll see the process id is changed correct even it is failed to restart also yeah. but it is failed but you can see it's starting with a new process id correct getting my point so every time if you are restarting something or if you kill that process id so again the pro again the services or the daemon will start with a new process id getting my point so that is the unique point so that is the unique thing you need to identify every time you need to grab that one anyways i'll tell you that one but here if i'll come to the point okay so processes can be divided into three types okay so that is called interactive process okay second thing is your system system process or daemon you can say same thing there also third thing is automatic correct or batch Okay. so these are the mainly three types of processes which we need to understand okay so before going into that one let's see it's working or not okay so zoom